Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 video. Today I'm bringing you something slightly different. This is uh, this is going to be more like an experimental formation. This is I've not tested it. This is just something I thought about today and I wanted to try. So it's not super sad difficulty there. Get that out of the way first. And what I was thinking about was how can I play a sort of sweeper formation? Um, now, yes, you can drop one defender back, but it doesn't really work all that well. Um, and I thought, well, let's try putting two defensive midfielders um, and just the, just the one set back with a right back and left back, but with two deep lying um, defensive midfielders. And then the formation ahead of there is up for debate whether I went for two central midfielders and then two wingers, but I've gone for um, Hazard and William just in behind um, Giroud. And why have I picked Giroud? Because Chelsea is struggling uh, for form, so Higuain is out of the equation. Okay, so there's the, there's yeah, there's the, uh, there's the lineup. In fact, do I want Ross Barkley? Yeah, let's put Ross Barkley in there. And then attack midfield roll and put William on the right. There we go. Yeah, so yes, it's just purely experimental. So I'll show you my attacking instructions. Counter attack, short pass, wide attack and error, maintain formation, 10 for support range, front line pressure, middle aggressive, five defensive line, five compactness. Attacking fullbacks, so those wingers will tuck in a little bit. But hopefully to erase that, um, I've gone for have the touchline. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the attacking fullbacks. I don't think it's really needed. Not with the not with the uh, the width here. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We may may add it later later on. I'm going to get rid of that deep defensive line. Don't want that. Um, I'm going to put the counter target on Hazard just so he stays a little bit further forward of Barkley. And also pre preserves his stamina. Um, so we are going to play at Stamford Bridge during the daytime. So yeah, let's see how this, this, uh, this uh, how this pans out. Like I said, this is completely experimental. I might get demolished. It might, might not work. But I will be pausing the game at intervals just to see what's going on and how the team is going to adapt um, to this formation. It's going to be interesting. So. Okay, the counter has gone a bit further forward than I would have expected, but I like the defensive midfielder's position positioning there. I do like that. Now here's the sweeper, David Luiz. No, but I do, I do like the positioning of those two defensive midfielders uh, when advancing. So you have plenty of width with the the touchline. Oh, great effort. <laughs> Interesting. So let's have a look at the uh, confirmation. It looks pretty solid back there. Got the one just floating there, but one of the defensive referrals. Be interesting when Spurs do get the ball. Hopefully, uh, if I score, then they'll, they'll definitely uh, come, come out of their little shell. Get a little bit more attacking, maybe. It's interesting that the, uh, the other fullback I was watching there. Emerson actually tucked in to make a set back. What are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push the Interesting. Back and, and give them more to think about. May adjust the compactness just to see if I can stop that happening. Not that I would sure want to, but just to get to it's, all, it's all experimental, so things are going to change. Let's just try and adjust that a little bit. Put it down to one, see what, see what happens there. See what happens with the. Anything I do with 
the moat where that is when we're defending that Kante and Jorginho are too far apart. The two defensive midfielders oh, off the bar. What an effort. Oh man. This kind of reminds me of my uh, sensible soccer formation, <laughs> where I just used to have pack out the midfield, um, and if you haven't played that game, you know that passing through a packed midfield is actually quite difficult. So you have to long ball it over, and then you just have that one sweeper just tidying up. It works so so well. Good ball in. Oh, lucky. Sure, you super cancel that. Let's try again. Somehow you super cancel. No, I won't. So I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Still waiting for uh, Tottenham to have an attack. I could give him the ball, but that's not my style. Let's get, try and get a goal first. Ah, oh. <laughs> had the man lined up there. No shot. Certainly, the drew there. This is something they need, they need to fix in Pez. Jumping into people and it gives you a foul. It's just, that just has to be fixed. Next year, this year's, this year's game, 2020, Pez 2020. Let's cross it to the far post, head it down. Why is, uh, I don't know why Hazard's my target man there for, for that move. A bit strange when I got Jeru. Who's here? Oh, good header down, but good save by Lloris. So here we go. Let's have a look to see what. I'm going to retreat and see what Tottenham do. You can see Hazard there with the, the counter target on. Didn't even bother to come back and tackle. I don't tend to put it on attack midfielders generally. But unless it's just to preserve their stamina. Oh, Giroud. It's a good test because I think um, you know, Spurs have got two up front. So against one defender or one centre central defender, it's a, it's a nice test just to see how my players react. This is better with the um, the compactness less. It's a better spread between the, the fullback and the and the centre backs. Alonso. Right, this time goes to Super Council. Oh, I almost got that. Okay, so... Pretty impressive, to be honest. I felt really comfortable about that. Admittedly, they are in their own half a lot, trying to counter and try and break out, but it's not really working out for them. You know, I don't, I don't judge a formation by how many goals I can score. It's how I feel it performs, and so far this formation's pretty cool. It's pretty cool indeed. Like I said, I might try attacking fullbacks. It might be a bit, a bit too open, but Emerson here. My goodness, that would have been stunning for the stream <laughs> or the or the record. God. See, that's why I think attacking fullbacks might be quite good, but my only concern is that the wingers will will tuck in. So that's why, that's 
very concerned. Let's try and get this on Drew's head. Or oh, Kante. Oh, the bar again. Goodness sake. Oh, catastrophe. <laughs> what are they doing? Didn't even put them under the pressure. I just started running backwards. With the majority of my players. It's not like I, I pressed them or anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's true. Uh, Babagoon's just tidying up. If you're wondering why I picked Chelsea, it's because I thought, well, who's got two really good central uh, defensive midfielders who I can who I can actually trust and rely on? I don't think there's anyone better in the game than uh, than Kante. Oh, here we go. This is going to be interesting, though. I, wonder, I sort of wanted him to play that early through ball because Kane was making a run. I was going to see how well uh, that sweeper keeper would have uh, picked it up. That's better. That's better. Here we go. Take a touch. Cross the defender. Back across. Away from the defender. Ah! Oh, I took the shot early because he was getting uh, he was getting pulled back. As soon as I got across Sanchez here. I thought I got him, but he actually managed, he did well to pull me back there. And that's why I took the shot early. Okay, let's try and get some of Drew's head this time. Nope. Okay, 63rd minute. To be honest, you don't really need the attacking fullbacks because they are coming up. But they're not like on a you know they're not over committing. So they're not always going, they're not both going. They're always, there's always one back there with the uh, with the setter back. So it's probably best to leave that off, like I thought. Now it's Kane. Kante comes in. Look at that. Oh, a bit short. Ah, oh, that's my mistake. That's my mistake. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Here is a pass it back to him because I was thinking, was it Jorginho? It was Jorginho. But I only passed it back to him because I wanted to see if that was actually Jorginho. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Nice Spurs are more defensive, that's going to be a bit more interesting. I'm going to switch my uh, tactics to a bit more attack and see what the, see what the shape of the team does. I expect the fullbacks to push on now. Oh. Penalty. Yeah, I was going to say, I tried to get the shot off, but he just crunched me. But you could see there from the uh, with this to equalize. when I went more attacking, you could see the the shape of the players. It's a goal. <laughs> Fouled by Lamella. Finished by Hazard. Single goalkeeper the wrong way. Okay, now Spurs have gone a bit more attacking, which is interesting. Now they can see the goal. I need to change my uh, tactics back now. Last 10 minutes, we'll see, we'll see if there's a there's a real weakness to playing one set back right now. Three, but it's, it's either that or the ball's going to run off the pitch. Uh, it's too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and 
improved upon, I'm sure. Colin Hazard. Plenty in the box there. Jorginho. Helps available out wide. Oh. It had to come eventually. It had to come eventually. I did use a bit of super council, but it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed at all. He was, he was so, so free. Look at that. Free header. Didn't even need to super council that. You can see there, doubling up on the wings. Great header from Drew. What a goal. Who said there's a lack of headers in this game? <laughs> You got the right player and the right crosser, like I said in my um, top five stats. That pinpoint crossing really does make a difference, which is what Alonso's got. Which is why I usually tend to use Alonso when I'm crossing instead of Emerson on that wing. The difference is like night and day. Okay, this is interesting. My centre back's been moved out of position. Don't know how or why. Good block. <laughs> His face! Like, did that really hit my ass? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I don't know, he's just, I just don't think I've ever seen that from a player before. Looked a bit bemused. Okay, go play it short, 100%. Ericsson delivery. Good save. And there we are, ladies and gents. The sweeper formation is born. I, I enjoyed that. I don't know what the stats were, but I felt like I was in real control of that game. But for the mistake, um, which I've managed to recover from. But even if I didn't recover from that, even if I lost 1-0, I still enjoyed using this formation. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That gets worse, worse every time I look at it. But let's have a look at the stats. Let's have a... 60% possession, 11 shots, 6 on target. Plenty of passes, 165, that's generally quite high. You know, this is against Spurs who've got 4-4-2 four, four, with three in, the mid, 3 in the middle with an attacking field, which is usually you find really hard to get in and around. Um, but that was, uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of joy down the wings against that formation. But in the middle you find it usually a bit too compact. And I thought... Um, I honestly thought they'd be uh, far more better on the counter-attack than, than I'd be able to deal with. Anyway, there we are, ladies and gents, the sweeper formation. Thank you for joining me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.